and then to see all these great matchups, and I mean great matchups in, the, in every one of these weight classes. Canton, one of uh, two schools to have three wrestlers in the championship. One kid I'm really looking forward to watching. Just Canton and Bonham Scotland getting three wrestlers in the championship. Dakota Galt is really a scrappy kid. I've been really impressed with him. Again, one of uh, three undefeated wrestlers. And for Jordan Sear, he was fourth in this weight class a year ago. He's a junior. Pretty rare to see uh, kids at this uh, at this weight division yeah. be here in consecutive years. Right, it sure is. Jordan Sear from Canton. He is in the uh, blue singlet. Dakota Galt, the undefeated wrestler, is in the white singlet. And we're running out of room out there, out of bounds. Referee's call out of bounds, starting back in the middle. Galt, by the way, also wearing the uh, the green band. So on the score bug there, you will see Galt under the green and Sear under the red. And these kids have seen each other a few times during yes. the year. <laughs> yes. Don't you think? And that makes these kind of matchups really difficult to predict because even though a kid can win two or three matches during the season, throw that out right now because you never know. You never know what's going to happen. It's hard to beat a good kid multiple times throughout the year. See right there, we have a, a bad shot attempt. Stalemate back up to the, the middle. Oh, that's going to be a, a warning there. Taking off a little bit too early. Sear is 26 and, and nice 7. Shot. Nice single leg shot. Again, we're running out of room. Yep, they're going to get the points. If you're right, that circle does need to be a little bit bigger, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> well, the kids are bigger and faster I'll now. I'll tell you what. You know, you know, at your age, it was a perfect circle. Now <laughs> these kids are faster and bigger. They need to expand the circle. Yeah, well, I was never at 106 <laughs> either. Though. That was a nice shot by Sir of Canton. He's got a deep, in, a deep uh, single leg shot position. Good counter by Galt. Again, we might end up in a stalemate. And there it is. We'll start him back up. These are championship matches. The referee will break things. If no action is being is being initiated, they'll put them back up to the middle of the mat as quick as possible. Kind of initiates more scoring opportunities for both wrestlers. And down to the end of the match, or down the end of the first period, no score. A lot of counters that first period. And Jordan Sear says he'll go down. There's a caution against Galt. They pointed to the way he had his arm around yep. the waist of Sear. Sometimes top wrestlers will try and get a little bit of an advantage and get that hand a little bit too far over under the stomach. This is where you have a good opportunity to score and take the lead right away early in a match from the down position. You know, it's, it, it takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of determination, hard work to score, but you usually have a better shot to score from the bottom position than you do from the top. This is where the fighting of the hands That's takes right. place. Hand control, hips, get the hips off the mat, and then get off the mat. That's, that's the big thing. Galt trying to get Sear over on his back. And you know, they'll cost stalling much more so lately than uh, any other time of the year because if you just grab that wrist and you don't move side to side and try and put on a penny hold, they'll call you for stalling too on the top position. So you have to do something after you control the bottom wrestler. And you see that's what Galt is trying to do. He captures that wrist. He's trying to pull it back. Sear is trying to get his ant arms forward. And now we got a tilt attempt by Galt. Unsuccessful. And you see there he's got to peel those hands off. 
We're under a minute now in the second period. You don't want to enter that third period with no score. You want to have, especially if you're the bottom wrestler, you want to have at least one point going into that third period. Because then all, the, all of a sudden, all the pressure is on the top wrestler going into that third, rest, third period. Stalemate called. Jordan Sear, the junior from Canton, taking on Dakota Galt, the freshman from Beersford. Galt, again, one of three wrestlers undefeated coming into the championship match. We could see four two-time winners. We could see four three-time winners in these championship matches tonight. Hey, if you look on the bottom wrestler now, there's no attempt to try and get hand control. He needs to try and get hand control in order to score at least an escape. We're under 25 seconds left in the second period. And now you're seeing a warning stalling call by referee Scott Gangle. Looks like Sierra is saying he can't do anything. Yeah, he's, well, he's, he's being prevented from uh, he, getting yeah, up. He needs to get that other hand and peel his hand off. He needs to work hard at getting better hand control, and that just wasn't happening. End of two periods. No score in the 106-pound championship match. And now Galt will choose down. There's a look at both, both coaches from Canton and Beersford, and now a point going to be given to Galt. He's going to let him up. That's a pretty good strategy, actually. I mean, if you're if you're not as successful in the top position, you risk getting a reversal. And the way he's been rode out by Galt, if he gets reversed, the match might be over right there. So, and Sear had some good shot opportunities, too, in that first period. So probably pretty good strategy by Sear. Sear really hasn't had a chance to do anything in, the, in this match. You know what? He he did have a few good shots where you know there was a good a, a good opportunity to score uh, takedown points at the edge of the mat. There was no chance for him to score a point when he was on the bottom though. Absolutely nothing. This might be one of these matches where it might come down to the last 10 seconds and somebody's going to get two takedown. Rare I see a wrestler will go down on a knee when they're both yep. in the up position. Yep. Is that a more of a defensive strategy well, or offensive you know, strategy? I, you know, you want when you take a shot, you want to change levels. You want to get in a lower position than your opponent. And sometimes when you get down that knee, you kind of like a kind of like an arrow just shooting in on that leg too, you know. So sometimes it's a it's a it's a technique to get into a lower position. Get one of those Smith singles or a low single. Well, there there you get a, a stalling call. That's and that's going to go to be, Galt. And so now Galt up two to nothing. Final period of the championship match. This isn't opening up like he did that first period. Right now he doesn't have much of a choice. We're down around 40 seconds left in the match. Sears got to go up. for a for a takedown. Yeah, he needs to do something. He needs to set up the shots and he needs to move into attack and he's not doing that right now. Yep. He needs to pound the head. He needs to work the hands. He needs to get hand control. And he needs to do something. We're about 25 seconds left in the match. And he's still backing up. Dakota Galt, 21 seconds away from an undefeated 33-0 and zero season and a state see, title. You need to see something right now, Craig. You need to see a shot or something. And there's a shot. And it wasn't a bad shot. But there, there Galt counters. Dakota Galt is going to go and win the championship. Here's a freshman from Beersford, 33 and 0. Undefeated State champion. Season. Nicely done. Good sound match. Sear will finish the season 27 and 7. Galt, 33 and 0. And again, I wish I knew how many times these two wrestled each other during the year. Nicely wrestled. That you see a replay of that lateral drop style takedown that he had. So again, it was kind of one in desperation where, you know, it came in the end of the match and, and he had to try something. Let's move on to the 113-pound championship. Patrick Oshbacher, the senior from Winner, taking on Duncan Stabner, the junior from Bonham. And Stabner 
is a repeat champion. He won it at 106. Score bug there. You will see Galt under the green and Sear under the red. I'm feeling these kids have seen each other a few times during yes. the year. <laughs> yes. Don't you think? And that makes these kind of matchups really difficult to predict because even though a kid can win two or three matches, there is. Jordan Sear from Canton. He is in the uh, blue singlet. Dakota Galt, the undefeated wrestler, is in the white singlet. And we're running out of room out there, out of bounds. Referee's call out of bounds, starting back in the middle. Galt, by the way, also wearing the uh, the green band, so on this. And then to see all these great matchups, and I mean great matchups in, the, in every one of these great classes. Canton, one of uh, two schools to have three wrestlers in the championship. One kid I'm really looking forward to watching. This Canton and Bonham Scotland getting three wrestlers in the championship during the season. Throw that out right now because you never know. You never know what's going to happen. It's hard to beat a good kid multiple times throughout the year. See right there, we have a, a bad shot attempt. Stalemate back up to the, the middle. Oh, well, that's going to be a, a warning chip. Dakota Galt is really a scrappy kid. I've been really impressed with him. Again, one of uh, three undefeated wrestlers. And for Jordan Sear, he was fourth in this weight class a year ago. He's a junior. Pretty rare to see uh, kids at this uh, at this weight division yeah. be here in consecutive years. Right. 